What's up everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here moving on to another question dealing with transformations. This one was sent to me by a student. Fairly unique one so I wanted to make a video for it. So we're told that 2 over 3 negative 1 over 3 that coordinate is on the graph y equals f of x and we have to find the corresponding point on this graph y equals negative 3 f of negative bracket negative x plus 1 we close the two brackets minus 2. Now just as a quick review if we have some kind of parent function f of x this could be any function could be a linear quadratic any type of function all we're told in this particular example is that that coordinate is on this function so just in general if you take any coordinate on a parent function and then we take this parent function transform it which would be this format over here then this coordinate it transforms into x over k plus d and then a y plus c like that we would take those transformation values and run those coordinates on the parent function through this formula so that's what we have to do here we have this coordinate here 2 over 3 negative 1 over 3 and we have to run it through this transformation formula so what we have to get is the a k d and c values from here and so what we want is for this to be in this same format and notice that it is almost in this format notice the a value easy to get it's negative three the c value is easy to get it's negative two but you got to be careful over here because notice it's almost in this format this k bracket x minus d format the only thing that's different is that this x here is by itself over here we have a negative one in front of the x so what we want to do actually is rewrite this we want to take out that negative one from this bracket then negative one times negative one would actually give us a positive one and then all of the signs here in this bracket would change right because we took out a negative one so it would be x minus one like that and then we'd have the minus two and so the k value actually ends up being just positive one then the d value ends up being positive one so you got to be careful it's a little tricky you may think that just looking at it the k value is negative one but it's not because there's still something in front of the x the x has to be by itself and then you can get the corresponding k value and d value all right so those are the values and so what we have to do is basically take all of the x values divided by the k value of one and then we add the d value of one and then we would take all the y values multiply it by th uh, negative three and then subtract two like that and that's pretty much it so we would take this x value of two over three and then add one we put in that formula so two over three plus one would be like 2 over 3 plus 3 over 3 which would give us 5 over 3 and then the y value of negative 1 over 3 we multiply it by negative 3 and then we subtract 2 like that and so we'd end up here with 1 minus 2 which would give us negative 1 and so the final transformed coordinate would be 5 over 3 and negative 1 right so just be careful look at these formats especially within these brackets, make sure it's in that K bracket X minus D format.